Hi, Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising. This is Dean. I hope you're doing well. Welcome and so welcome back to my channel. To my current and new subscribers, thank you for your support. It is truly appreciated. Gemini, this is a general reading for you, which may or may not resonate with you. If it does, great. If it doesn't, just let it pass. In other words, take what resonates with you and leave the rest. I will close your reading out with a numerology card. God, most high angel spirit guides, beings of love and light, the Holy Spirit, what is the divine guidance and encouragement for Gemini, sun, moon, and rising? That's for their well-being in the highest form of love and light. Yes, God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, God. Yes. Woo! Gemini. <laughs> You've got the emperor. Stand in your power. Use your authority responsibly. Not to lord over anyone, but if you are being looked at as a leader or you're currently in a leadership role, you're being encouraged to use your authority. If you don't use your authority, those who are around you will certainly take your power away and use it against you. So don't let anything slide. If you are working on a group project, if this is in a family situation and you're being asked to give your insight your um your guidance whatever the situation is you're being encouraged to use your authority responsibly give the guidance and if you have pushback from others stand in your truth be assertive not disrespectful but be assertive in a very respectful manner but stand in your truth because what you have to say the guidance that you provide will ultimately result in a successful outcome in the current situation no matter what it is how do i know that you've got the world successful achievement successful outcome victory and in you executing upon the course of action that is necessary is going to be for the well-being of everyone who's involved and it's going to have a lasting effect because these two cards the emperor and the world are major arcana cards which have a lasting effect and so i feel like in this situation you're also being encouraged to look at what works what doesn't work and also take what you've learned thus far and apply it as you go forward and as you lead others. But again, you're being encouraged to stand in your truths, utilize your authority responsibly, not lording over anyone, but take the leadership role with authority. And Trust the divine guidance that you're receiving because you are being divinely guided. All right, let's get your final um, tarot card here. And you have the Page of Swords. And so during this time, you may feel that there's information that is being withheld from you as it relates to the current situation, whether it is uh, a project of gold or there's just circumstances that are occurring that you are now involved with. There may be some information that's being withheld from you and or there may be some delay in the uh, information that you, you need. Nevertheless, you're being encouraged not to overthink that. Don't overthink it. Why? Because we already know that you're going to have a successful outcome. And the delay in the information or the information that's being withheld, the information will be revealed to you in the perfect timing. So don't even worry about it. I'm hearing don't sweat the small stuff. Just stay focused on what's necessary at this time. And there may be someone in the current situation that you're faced with that may be a little immature. And so they may give you some pushback because they really think 
that their way is the right way. But yet, you know the way that things should be going and what's the best course of action. Why? Because you have experience. You have experience, life experience. Yes, they have life experience, but not enough. You have more life experience that you can apply that's going to ensure that the outcome in this current situation is successful. All right. So let's get your numerology card to close out your reading. That's for your well being in the highest form of love and light. Gemini, you have personal growth. And so let's get more insight on personal growth for you. And also, I'm going to take a look at the number seven before I read you more insight on personal growth. And I feel like you've been experiencing some personal growth. I feel like some of you may have been even pushing yourself to just enhance your knowledge. Rather it's spiritually or the fact that you're pushing yourself to, to grow in a particular field that you are currently in and or have an interest in, but you've been studying, learning more to enhance your knowledge and to also enhance your personal growth, which means I feel like for some of you, you've been finding that you've been more disciplined and very selective is what I'm hearing, selective with how you spend your time. You've been very selective. So the number seven is associated with but not limited to spirituality, inner awareness, mastery, <laughs> wisdom, insight, and success. Wow. You see? That confirms exactly what I was just saying. Now, as it relates to personal growth, this card indicates a time of significant growth and improvement when you are being encouraged to be the best that you can be. Gemini, this is a time to ask yourself, who am I? What do I want from life? And what is preventing me from achieving it? When you ask yourself these questions, Gemini, observe whatever comes up. Then acknowledge your mental and physical limitations. Set realistic goals for your for your out for overcoming them and take the necessary steps to follow through with desire and determination you can reach your full potential gemini by drawing this card you are being encouraged to investigate anything that helps raise your conscious awareness and enhances your self-esteem it may be a book CD, online seminar, workshop, health program, yoga, practice, or meditation. Or it may be working with an energy worker, therapist, or a life coach. Whatever suits your needs, Gemini. A step in this direction, regardless of what it is, will set you up for life in a positive way too. In order to improve your current situation, Gemini, you are being asked to adjust to and harmonize with the natural rhythm and cycles of your life, cycles that are leading you toward a time of significant growth and improvement. As you improve yourself, you improve your quality of life. As you raise your awareness, you align yourself with source, God most high, or however you honor the higher power. This is all you need 
to make your dreams come true, Gemini. Your affirmation is, as I improve myself, I improve the circumstances of my life. As I improve myself, I improve the circumstances of my life. As I improve myself, I improve the circumstances of my life. So Gemini, this is your message. I hope it has been helpful. Thank you so much for being here. If you're not already subscribed, I encourage you to go ahead and press the subscribe button because you didn't come here by mistake. This is a divine connection, and I would love to have you join us here. Also, give this message a thumbs up. Leave a comment down in the comment section. If you are a private person and wish not to share, then I encourage you, as I respect and honor your privacy, to leave me a heart emoji just to let me know how this message touched your heart in some way, shape, or form. Also, share. And also, yeah, that's it. <laughs> oh, so, no, I said subscribe, right? Yeah, so that's it. I've covered all bases. Subscribe, give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment and or a heart emoji and share with the others, especially someone who you feel could benefit from this message. So thanks again, Gemini, for being here. Take good care of yourself. I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.